Hello, let's talk about pav today. The versatile pav. Versatile because you can eat it with anything and everything. And also you can eat it as it is. Why do we hesitate to make pav by ourselves in our own kitchen? Because we have heard stories that how difficult it can be to make it by ourselves. I don't agree. Let's make pav today. Easy way, my way. Really easy and delicious. We are going to take this reasonably big cooking pot and keep it on the lowest flame. We have add butter. We want this butter to melt. We'll keep stirring it because we don't want the butter to burn. It's going to take few seconds. I think it's almost done now. Yes, it's done now. Now we are going to add cold milk. Refrigerated cold milk. Two and a half cups of it. Now we are going to add 4 tablespoons of sugar. Yes, that's it. We are going to dissolve the sugar we added. Remember, the gas is still on. We wanted this milk to be lukewarm. Yes, it's lukewarm now. We are going to switch off the flame. Sugar is also dissolved. Yes, it's done. At this stage, we'll add instant yeast. This is 2 tablespoons heaped instant yeast. And we'll mix it well. After mixing it for 30 seconds, we'll cover it and leave it for around 8 minutes. Exactly after 8 minutes, the yeast is active now. I have taken 1 kg of all-purpose flour, that is maida, and we will add it to the yeast. One tablespoon salt. And we'll start mixing. Slowly. At this stage, Mix it with your hand. I have mixed it for one minute. Now I am going to cover it and leave it to rise for one hour. Exactly after one hour, this is what you will see. Punch 4 to 5 times and we'll start kneading this. Knead it the way we need for uh, the chapati or roti. Just for a minute. We are done with kneading. I have taken this grease tray. We are going to uh, make dough as we make for our roti or chapati and place it next to each other. It's very easy. 
I feel it's easier than making rotis. This 1 kg of dough will make around 16 to 18 pav. Now we are going to cover this and leave it to rise for around 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, they look beautiful, isn't it? Now we are going to give it a milk wash very gently. I have also preheated my oven for 15 minutes now on 200 degrees. Now we are going to bake this at 200 degrees for 25 minutes. Now exactly after 25 minutes, oh they look so good. We'll brush it with butter. Let me show you how they have come out. Nice. This recipe of mine never goes wrong. Nice, isn't it? Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.